Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mike's Mike. I wanted to do something a little different this time and talk about my top fi- My top five most adorable video games. Now, some of these are older than others, but most are fairly recent. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Number one. This game is on here because the protagonist is just completely and utterly lovable. Even the game's creator took a moment when he was announcing the game to show off the fact that he had made Yarny in real life. And that's how, how Yarny came to be. And I, I actually brought him with me. Uh, I, I <laughs> Some may argue that the game's story is far from heartwarming. But I think the deeper message of the game, and the theme of love throughout it, makes for a very heartwarming experience. Number two. In a franchise filled with adorable experiences, Kirby's Epic Yarn subscribes to the idea that you can make anything more adorable by making it out of yarn and craft supplies. Anything. Number three. The game has a hug button. A hug button. It's your standard puzzle platformer, but with its stylistic and hand-drawn graphics, and the aforementioned hug button, it's just so cute. Number four. I nearly put Yoshi's story here instead, just for the tiny wee Yoshi singing. Instead though, I've put the newest game in the series here, because since it's made by the same team as Kirby's Epic Yarn, it deserves a place here. It's so adorable! It takes the Kirby formula and turns up to 11. The entire world is built in craft supplies, and the Yoshis themselves have so much expression. When my wife and I played the game, we noticed the fact that if the two Yoshis crouch while facing each other in close proximity, it looks like they're just rubbing noses. And that may be the sweetest image in gaming. Five. Just five. Five. Fifty-five. Five. I talked before about the Yoshi's expressiveness, but it can't hold a candle to Sackboy and company. You can choose his or her expressions, and the severity of those expressions at any time, going through a ghost house, feel free to make the sack person scared or trembling at the sight of those ghoulish ghosts. Ooh. Or have them be happy, running through the wind at the beach, or angry at their friends, or sad that they're alone. This game is pure cuteness distilled down to its finest form, and the community has assured that there will always be a new variety of levels to play. So all in all, any of these games would be good to have in the background to help you fall asleep. These are games that you'd cuddle into at night and feel the warmth in your heart. But these are only my opinion. So, with that in mind, what are some of the most adorable games you guys have played? Leave a wee comment below. Until next time guys, I'm Mike, this is Mike's Mike, catch you all later. <music> Fucking end card, cause I'm professional as fuck. If you like what I do, there'll be a wee video over here, or maybe it'll be up here. 
maybe it'll be over here, it might even be below me, I've not decided yet, but you should check that out and watch more of what I do because I make it for people like you that stick around to the end of the videos. And if you want to watch me talk endlessly about shite, well you can check out Mic Check, it's a podcast to do with my buddy Lorenzo where we talk about shite. And if you like that, well you're going to like everything I do from now on. So seriously, thanks for watching guys and, well, I appreciate it. Take care. Look at this wee bastard. Look at how adorable he is. Oh, Poochie. Ya wee smasher.